So, hi everybody. This is totally an impromptu Bath and Body Works and Claire's Hall. Um, I was feeling mighty trapped this morning. I usually go out, do errands, run around, and I didn't. Um, I'm just super, super tired. <sighs> this um, occipital neuralgia is no joke. Like, my scalp hurts, my face hurts. I'm just uncomfortable. Um, I can't get any relief. I'm just really, really tired. So I thought instead of laying down on the couch and caving into this, um, I would come to my local mall and take advantage of the promotion that they're having at Claire's, which is not, they generally have it more frequently now than before. It was probably like three times a year, four times a year. But this is buy three, get three free. Um, so, of course, what do I get there? Nails. I mean, it's a kid's store. And speaking of, um, I'm filming this today on Friday the 20th. Um, is there like a holiday I don't know about? Because this mall is screaming full of kids. And I'm like, oh, God, just help me. The reason I came today, you know, to Claire's. One, to get out of the house, but two, because it's a Friday. I don't come to malls on the weekend. It's just there's no point. This little tiny store was packed full of kids and mothers and, and kids getting their ears pierced. And I'm like, oh, my God. Help me, Jesus. Um, anyway, enough of the bitching and the moaning. I am. I should be down in the underground parking where it's nice and cool. But now I decide to park up here. Anyways, I don't know how this is going to come off on camera. Speaking of, this is the new cell phone. Um, the other one, it just crapped completely last week. And I just didn't have a choice. So this is a Samsung 10. Um, it's about the same size as the other one, my old one. I wanted to get the ginormous one. Almost $900 or $1,000. I'm good. So, no. This is kind of an iridescent, I don't know how this is going to come out, so I wish, oh, that's kind of pointless too, oh, we could use this, I guess, yeah, so we'll just use that, so very, very pretty, iridescent, clear color, and I did these uh, myself, I was sort of bored, I'm just like, it's very relaxing. It's my therapy to do nails. But I just want to integrate like some fun, some different styles, and I don't want to create them. I'm just, I'm not up for that right now. This is another really super pretty iridescent, but it's more opaque, and it's got like a little design on it. Again, I hope you can see it. Really pretty. So I'm excited to try these. Um, I think I have bought these before, not sure. It's a really pretty lavender matte with kind of like, what do you call this? I can't think of what you call the design. Um, like a marbling, I guess, if you will, sort of. But again, it's matte and it's like a, uh, like a lilac, not like a lavender. So I'm excited for those. This was just, I had to buy six, you know? They didn't have anything other than the two I'm about to show you. I'm not wild about it because I'm not a gold person. Um, I just don't get this, but you know, maybe I can make it work. So it says flawless. Again, it's just a gold chrome, um, white. I have found anytime you get chrome or anything other than nail polish at Claire's it chips off so I will be very surprised to see if this stays on um, I might go over with it with a gel top coat and use my gel lamp um, we'll see I don't know I don't plan to wear those anytime soon this is a repurchase um, I thought these would be cute for like Halloween week because I ain't doing no design I can't find anything that I generally like, you know, at um, Walgreens or Rite Aid or something. I'll look, but I usually don't find anything. So 
again just black and orange and why couldn't they make these silver why 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 but anyways if I remember correctly these all did stay on really really well um, we'll see and then the last one I love these I guess I should have just bought two and omitted the flawless ones stupid I should have just bought two beautiful that mean like a mermaidy iridescent oh I love these I love these so much these are my favorite favorite ones I think I'm gonna wear these next week or yeah maybe next week or the week after I still have probably a few days left on these and I'm already like two manicures ahead I have a really pretty um, hot pink and white that I did and then just a really pretty gray um, from Dollar Tree that I got what two weeks ago so but these I love these so much um, the other thing that I got from Claire's if you've noticed you may have not noticed is my little fake nose ring now the problem with this is it's gold I couldn't see in the store I was gonna get the other one that was um, sterling like a sterling silver um, hypoallergenic but it had like a design on it that it was really weird and I just wanted a little something something um, I am in debate right now about getting my nose pierced and I don't know where all this shit's coming from like the tattoos, the piercings. I used to have my eyebrow pierced, I used to have my ear pierced. Um, I would like to get my, however you say it, daff pierced in here. Honestly I'm scared. Like this is a chunk of flesh for a needle to go through. I mean but I've reached the point where these headaches, like I don't even care. I do care and I don't care but it's supposed to help with migraines or headaches in general but I don't know so I figured I would just get one of these little babies see how I like it um, and kind of go from there I love it I think it's cute but I would be more of a stud person they didn't have stud obviously if it's fake it would be probably magnet and it'd be a big magnet so anyways so that's all from Claire's then I found myself, where's my purse? So I have had this little, uh, this little gem. Oh my God, I didn't realize I lost a paw. That's how old this thing is. A hand sanitizer, it had another little paw here. But this is going the way of the dodo. I just keep refilling it with just some disgusting um, hand sanitizer. Wait till you see this, OMG. So this is, it was by five, yeah, five for six. So you have to buy this or then, you know, just the other plain generic rubberized one. And I'm like, well, if I'm going to get one that lasts as long as this one and so cute, has a light. So I'm constantly looking for shit in my purse. And I know your phone has a light, but I mean, if I could just grab this or, you know, if I can't see something, it, you know, just grab it really fast. Um, anyway, it looks like this. It's a cute little mermaid. And this is going to go on my purse when I get home. I just don't want to deal with it right now. And the scents that I got, man, there was like 75,000 of them. One thing I really, really wanted was peppermint. And they only had um, eucalyptus and spearmint. And I'm like, ooh, two negative, no buenos. So I got Give Thanks, which is just a clear, sort of a fresh, very, very fresh. I mean, that's all I can say about that one. Um, Snow Kiss Citrus. I think I goofed on this. It's okay. Um, it's very citrusy, but I should have kept the cranberry and I put the cranberry back. Um, champagne toast smells really good. You, you smell like a small amount of champagne or a whiny smell, but it's not overwhelming. So champagne toast. And then um, 
No, it's six for five. Did I say five for six? How many of these damn things did I get? One, two, three. Oh, he did put it in here. I'm curious. Hold on. I'm curious. Um, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. One, two, three. He put it back in my bag accidentally because I said originally, you know, he said there are five for six dollars. Do you want to take one off? And I said, yeah, I want to take this off. And I pushed it aside, but when he put it in the bag, he put it in the bag. Well, lucky me. Anyway, so frosted cranberry. Smells really nice. So that's what it looks like. Well, that's kind of like a nice surprise. I didn't mean it to happen, but it happened. Um, Champagne toast. And then this one is crisp air, crisp morning air. So I'm assuming it's just like a fresh, what do you call those, like Glade, you know, air wick things. Um, yeah, it's just a really fresh, like a linen, like a linen smell. And then this one, oh, I should have just got three lavenders. My favorite, favorite, favorite in the entire world. Oh, this will be going right now in my little mermaid thing. I love it. So doesn't take a lot to please me. Well, you know, to take this off. So anyway, for those of you that haven't ever seen this before, it isn't rocket science, you just snap it in. And bada boom, bada bing. And then I love, I love, love, love the light. I don't know, call me crazy. But um, yeah, so I needed a new one. What I'm concerned about is breaking this off. Um, I would have preferred this to be, yes, it is plastic, but more of a, a jelly plastic. Um, so it's like you can move it around. I mean, I don't want to like, you know, stab my, create another bruise on me. Um, but we'll see how this goes. So it's time to say goodbye to Mr. Cute Little Puppy, which I'd say is probably about four years old, if not more. And um, I'm going to put this baby on here. Obviously, I have to take the tag off, but I don't have scissors. So I'm going to put this on here and hopefully not break it, lose it, or anything of the above. I love it because now that um, flu season is coming up, and quite honestly, every time I go shopping and you're touching those machines, um, or you're getting, you know, cash back, or any, you know, anything of any kind, any touching, I always just sanitize myself after, um, yeah. So that's it. See, I just moved my thing and I didn't realize it was there. I give it two days before I lose it. And yes, I will be taking it out at night. But um, anyways, that's going on with me. Um, it's been a rough, sort of a rough week. Um, I guess I could keep you guys with me. See, this is already, it's like itching. Oh! And I've been sneezing like a fool. So you guys can come back with me. Get yourself something to drink because it's probably another 15, maybe 10 minutes to get back to house. Oh, that's nice. That was really pretty. I was talking, thinking, and drinking. It'll be another 10 to 15 before we get back to the house. There you go. So, um, Kamali had turn the air on I'm dying in here um, she had gastroenteritis early August oh shoot obviously I can't drive with you in front of me there's a thought so I'm gonna put you on pause a sec all right we're back I love this new phone it's lighter the clarity the no pink factor yeah my screen was going pink that was one of the things that I couldn't stand anyway so, Kamali had um, gastroenteritis in August. It was pretty bad. She started to get sick. It's always at night. I swear to God, it's always at night, except... Oh, where am I going? Shit. Um, so, Saturday night, Sunday morning... Oh, jeez Louise. 
um, like 1 a.m. Saturday morning, so it's technically Sunday morning. She starts um, having stomach issues and threw up a couple times, but it's always like bile or um, let's go and walk. Like foamy, like there's nothing, you know, in her stomach. Oh, and you know what I gotta do? Okay, hold on one second. It is way too bright out for this business. That's better. Um, so, you know, I know what to do, and I have the medication, and I gave her medication. So by Sunday, she was better. Um, Monday, she was, oh, sorry way 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 better then we had a great night Monday night like no issues no problems Tuesday morning she wakes up we all wake up and I can tell I can't explain to you guys how I know but I know when she's sick like uh, hands down I know when she's sick and she started to shake her entire body and I was like, you know, here it comes. She's gonna, you know, start throwing up. And sure enough, she just gets in this stance and she stands on the floor and it, you know, like foam comes up. Can we go please? Thanks. And then it happened again and more shaking. And the shaking never really stopped. Then she went to the water bowl, drank a bunch of water. It all came up. So, I think I had told you guys before, I will tell you after I get done with this little story. I took her to emergency. So now we're at 9 a.m. on a Tuesday morning. And I'll tell you why I didn't go to my regular vet in a sec. So, when we got there, she did a humongous, and I'm sorry, it's life, diarrhea. Huge. Like, it just poured out of her. And it made her feel a lot better. I mean, like, she was so much better. She was still, you know, lethargic, but she was coming around. By the time we ended up leaving, which was two hours later... Um, she was jumping, running all over the waiting room. She was yelling, screaming, and I'm like, that's music to my ears because I know she's feeling better. Um, so please forgive me if... I don't think I had told you guys this. If I have, and it sounds familiar, obviously you can click out. Probably... six weeks or so ago, I got irritated with my veterinary office. I wrote a scathing review just on the office, not on the staff. I mentioned the staff. I said, I love the staff. Um, but shit's got to change because this is getting ridiculous, repetitive. And I, I'm, you know, it's just got to stop. So I went in the next day with Zoe and the doctor refused to see me. Did that scathing review have anything to do with her? Absolutely not. Did I mention her? Did I even hint at my unhappiness with her? No, nothing to do with her. And what really gets me, gets me, gets me, gets me, is that, I think I told you guys this, the partial owner was there. I think she owns a quarter of the business, not even half. She couldn't even get her to see me. I, I, you know, so long story short, that is still not resolved. I understand it's being worked on, but I don't know what that means. So we literally had no vet, no office to go to other than emergency. Don't you think I was irritated at that? So... Like I said, I'm hoping to resolve this, um, not on my end, 
because even if I was to remove that that post I am due an apology I am due you know in other words the damage is done like you owe me an apology for your actions and this can't happen again and I was you know I was thinking to myself the other day as I do a lot you know I dealt with my mom's doctors for almost 16 years I had a doctor issue problem huge um, I believe it was back in May when I switched primary care physicians I could have blasted her ass all over Yelp I could have reported her to the California State Board did I no because I still go to that office and everybody is well aware of my feelings about this particular doctor the doctor doctor not the vet I just don't have to deal with her I don't have to look at her I don't have to have her treat me problem solved but you know in all my years of seeing doctors and facilities and getting tests done on my mom on myself trust me I could have done and said so much shit over the years but have I again no never not one time and a matter of fact it was 2012 so seven years ago I can't even believe seven years ago I was dealing with so much with my mom's doctor in a very very bad way I, I was just losing my mind um, did I say anything to him did I say anything to the office did I report him no so to think my vet oh Christ now I'm in a lane I shouldn't be in oh I'm sorry my bad Back up. sorry um, to think my vet would think I would go after her on Yelp is crazy I mean other people have I don't think they're clients of the office anymore, but that is something I wouldn't do because I need her. I I need to go to that office. She's the only vet. Sometimes I get temporary ones. Um, like next Thursday, I'm going to go see another vet in the same office because the other vet is off or she's working another job. I don't know what the deal is. Um, but she isn't even on my top 10 of complaints in all these years. So, long story short, my friend, I call him my friend, his name's Matt, at the veterinary office, is trying to talk to the partial owner. She only comes in periodically. And I'm trying to get a meeting between myself, another person, basically in my corner I mean they're all in my corner everybody hates her anyway the partial owner and the veterinarian and straighten this shit out because this is getting really really bad I mean perfect example I needed to go see them I needed to go see them on Tuesday you know what I'm not even taking the freeway because I'm not in the mood um, and I couldn't I had nowhere to go other than emergency, which is strangely five minutes from my house. And the bill wasn't that bad. They gave, I didn't think I said anything, but they gave Kamali um, subsucaneous, I can never say that word. Anyway, fluid under the skin so she wouldn't get dehydrated. They gave her um, a shot for the nausea. She thinks that they had, you know, she had nausea and the vomiting and more Pepsid. So, I mean, all in all, it was, she was a really nice vet, but like you would think at nine o'clock on a Tuesday morning, I would be seeing my own vet, not the emergency. I don't know. Mess. So that's what I'm dealing with right now. Um, I just hope Kylie, you know, doesn't backslide. 
I'm trying to be super, super careful what she eats and how much she eats and what treats she gets. You know, very, very few, um, very few treats. So, I don't know. The, um, the emergency doctor suggested I go see um, a nutritionist for the girls to try to get them on a better more nutritious, more vitamin rich diet because right now they're just on, you know, a bland diet. Reminds me, damn, I was going to go to the store for some something. Oh yeah, forgot. Oh well. But you sort of need a referral from your veterinarian to go see a nutritionist. I can't pull one out of the sky. Um, So I, I am just like, I just don't know what to do, you know? I have to just sit back and wait for something to get resolved or for a meeting to get scheduled and I was hoping it was going to be today or sometime this week, um, but obviously it's not. So that's what I'm doing right now. When you know it, like, I'm driving by Starbucks, there's six places available to park unheard of at 2.15 on a Friday afternoon. And did I go in? No, because I don't want anything. Um, I'm still drinking my dragon drink. Fantastic, but I really don't feel like it. It's more of a thought than wanting it. Anyways, um, so that's what's going on. Um, I'm going to, again, upload this video and see if maybe the settings have changed or um, the disabled comments are gone. I know for a fact Jess Fam, who doesn't know Jess Fam, um, her comments were disabled I think for months, like a couple months. I don't know if it ever got resolved. I never saw a video that, you know, oh this is the reason why. But same thing's happening to me. I mean, I'm even going on um, YouTube.com and not using the app and manually selecting, you know, my options and hitting save and it, you know, and then I go back to it and it says comments disabled for this video. So don't think it's me because it ain't. Um, I guess if you wanted to go back to a previous video and I'm not you know, I really don't like you guys doing this, um, but if you wanted to or have a question or a comment, you could go, you know, back to a previous video and, you know, say you're commenting on the Claire's and Bed Bath and & Beyond, Bed Bath & Beyond? No. What is it called? Bed no what the hell is it called oh my god I'm so having a brain fart right now Bath and Body Works <laughs> um, and just you know touch base I swear to god this occipital neuralgia creates such a brain fog it's crazy like I was looking up something and I came across a street name that I know, I know it's by me. I'll tell you what it is. Oh, where the hell happened to it? Here. So I got this like realty thing just in the mail, just a random thing. And they tell you what their houses are, you know, are listed for, what they sold for and what street they're on, blah, blah, blah. And the street is called Norton. And for the love of God, I can't in my head remember where Norton is. I mean, all these other houses and all these other street names, I can tell you in a second where they are. And I'm like, I can't, for the life of me, remember where Norton is. So that's the shit I'm dealing with. It's like little things that are just like coming up that you just can't figure out and it's nothing to do with like your memory or 
you know, it's because of this neuralgia that that is one of the symptoms that your your head and your brain and is in such pain that you just can't process stuff. Um, so that's what I'm dealing with right now is, I don't know. So I'm going to go home. I'm home right now. I appreciate you guys watching this. Um, I hope it wasn't too scattered. I feel like I'm, you know, trying to get back on the bike and the bike is kind of shaky and I'm not exactly sure if I'm going to crash or if I'm going to go straight. So now I got another look at this. Look at this. Um, so baby steps, I am trying to get back to this, um, at least once a week, you know, just to touch base and, you know, if it's a haul, if it's not a haul, if it's just something that's going on or I need to get off my chest, it does help. It, it helps a lot, tremendously. And I need that. I need that back in my life. So I hope everybody takes care. Have a great and safe weekend. Um, There'll be more videos to come. I just, I don't know when or where or, you know, what they're going to be about. So stay tuned, everybody. We are home. Bye.